Hi everyone. Imagine I have a list of items on the page and each list element has a data attribute, data price, with a price in cents. And at some point, the application adds a data attribute, data total, to the top of the list. Now, that sum should be equal to the total of individual prices added together. Let's confirm it using Cypress. So the first thing we need to do is to compute the sum of prices in each list item. Here's how I will do. First, we need the elements. So I'll get all elements with data price attribute. I don't care about the value, I just care about getting the elements with that attribute only. And you can limit it, you can say, okay, only the elements inside prices, it's fair. But one thing you want to do, because application seems to be rendering things and adding things dynamically after a delay, for example, is to wait for it to actually have an element. So we want to say should have length, and in this case, I know it should be free. If you don't know if it's more, you know, more than one, for example, you can say greater than one. So at least you're not grabbing the elements before they are ready. The best way you know, you can get the elements after you know they're present is to get for example, items and inside the callback and then, you know, extract the data bit. Or the way I like doing this is to say, okay, so the sum is zero at the beginning. We're going to get the elements. They're going to be several. So let's use psi each and then we get individual item one at a time. So how do we get the value of, for example, data price attribute? As a number, well, this is a jQuery object, so you can say item adder method and then data price. Now, this will give you a string, so we need to convert this into a number first, and then we'll say sum plus equals number. Okay, let's see if we can print this uh, sum, and a lot of people will just say, okay, sci log sum. Unfortunately, that doesn't work because it prints sum when it still has a value of zero, because it queues up psilog command with its argument, which is zero, and then prints it prints after the previous commands are done. We want to actually print it after the sum have been configured, so we have to move it into a then code block right here. So it's scheduled to log sum only after sum has been computed. Okay, so we got that settled out. Now we need to confirm that that sum is equal to the uh, data total attribute on the prices object. Okay, so in this case, we need to get the prices and, well, it's a single element. So we need to extract its attribute data total. So we can invoke the same method that we called right here, but we can just invoke it because it's a jQuery inside Cypress command uh, chain attribute data price. All right, now what do we do with that value? We convert it to a number, so we keep passing it, and now we have to confirm that this is equal to the sum. Remember the same situation, we can only uh, use the sum, right, and this value inside that then callback, so we can say then total expect total to equal sum. Now, we're getting none, right? Why is that? Well, because we grab the element, immediately invoke its attribute. But notice our application sets that value after a delay of two seconds. So the easiest way for us is what? Well, probably wait, but that's suboptimal because it's hard coded and we don't know if two, you know, two seconds is enough. In this case, probably slightly longer is necessary. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong attribute. Okay, so hard coding a weight is an anti-pattern. What do we have to wait for? We're waiting for that element to have an attribute data total. Now we can try saying should have attribute data total before trying to get it. Unfortunately, in that case, this method doesn't work. And I'll tell you why. Most assertions in Cypress preserve original subject that they get, except for have other. Assertion. It actually changes the current subject from the element to the value of that attribute. So we don't longer need to invoke it, right? We already will get the string value 
and then we can, can um, convert it to a number and everything is fine. So look at this built-in retriability, right? Cypress waits for that element to get that data attribute and then it grabs the value, converts to a number and converts and confirms that it's equal to the sum of individual prices. So this is a pretty good example. Find more examples like this at my site Cypress examples.